Hey guys, I'm Gabby and this is Gabby's Gallery. As always, if you're new here, welcome. And if you've seen my other videos, welcome back. So today, um, well, rather this week, we're gonna be doing a video. Not really doing a video, just kind of like documenting the process, I guess, um, so to speak. So if you don't already know, I've been struggling with stomach issues for literally as long as I can remember, probably around five, six years old. Um, and it's been getting like really, really, really bad within the last year. Like I've been going to doctors and all these places. They're trying to fix me, but spoiler alert, it's not working. So this week we're gonna do a little experiment and I'm going to completely cut out all gluten and dairy for an entire week. Um, if you don't already know, I've been gluten-free fully for almost two years. Yeah, about. Um, and dairy is a part of my life a lot. So this is going to be difficult, but not impossible. So we're going to be documenting like the process of what I eat in a week when I'm not eating gluten or dairy. So this should be interesting. But yeah, let's get started. It's still against my better judgment. It's just, I've chosen to go with my worst judgment. If I could take you up in tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. This morning for breakfast, I church this morning, obviously, because I'm wearing like a dress and stuff. Um, I ate a granola bar, a um, applesauce pouch, which I didn't know this when I picked it out, but it had no sugar added. So it was disgusting, but I ate it and a pack of fruit snacks. That was my breakfast, super nutritionist, nutritional and healthy. I know. So I'm about to figure out what I'm going to have for lunch because I'm literally starving. All right, so I decided I am going to be keeping like a log of this in just like my phone. And like I'm gonna log what I eat for each meal, like the symptoms afterwards, so that hopefully we can actually figure something out from this. Okay, so for lunch today, I ended up having um, a gluten-free chicken ball pie and pineapple, and that's probably all I'm really gonna eat because I'm not like a super big eater. I like to have snacks a lot. So, We'll see if my stomach hurts. <laughs> so since I have no idea what I'm gonna do for breakfast this week, I decided to do a little experiment. And I put, I mean, it's not, it's not nothing special. But I put a uh, peach jelly on some of my gluten-free bread and I popped it in the air fryer for three minutes. And man, it is busting. So I think this is what I'm gonna live off. Even when I go back to eating dairy, assuming I do. Like, it's really good. So for dinner, I'm having these chicken nachos. It's literally just tortilla chips and this chicken mix that has like I don't know like tomatoes and kind of salsa in it so pretty good had a lot of snacks today I think we're gonna go to Target after this to try to pick up some last minute school stuff for tomorrow then we're also gonna grab some like groceries and stuff so that I have plenty to eat this week okay so I am gonna be kind of bad and have this cupcake that I bought the other day but it was three dollars it definitely has dairy in it it's gluten free but it definitely is dairy, and I can't just not eat it because I spent $3 on it, and it's lemon blueberry. Like, how cute is that? Alrighty, so this is what I ate on Sunday. This is how it's going to look at the end of every, like, day. A lot of days, I just, like, didn't film anything, so you're going to see everything I ate, and obviously, I crossed off the symptoms because I tell y'all a lot, but you don't need to know everything, but just know that if there is a little thing that says symptoms, that means I experienced some sort of pain or discomfort um, if I felt totally fine, I just didn't put anything. So, yeah. Okay, I'm about to try this dairy-free queso made with cashews. I know I didn't, like, film anything I ate today, but I'll include it at the end or, like, something at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You know what? It tastes like... It tastes like the queso and Lunchables. Like the um, chips and cheese ones. It's really good. Lunchables is like I, the top tier for me. Okay, so um, I thought that that like queso wouldn't upset my stomach, but I was very wrong. Almost like directly after eating it. Pretty much right after. Like as I was putting it away, my stomach started hurting. I thought that it would go away, but it is not. It is really, really, really bad. And I literally looked up the ingredients, and it's like tomatoes, peppers, cashews, like onions, like the usual stuff. So I don't know why it's making my stomach hurt so bad, but 
I'm in a lot of pain. I'm literally sitting here with the heating pad on and I still have more school to do because today was the first day of school. So I have some like surveys and stuff to fill out. I'm in a lot of pain. Okay, so my stomach still feels pretty bad. Not as nearly as bad as earlier, but still pretty bad. But I'm eating some spaghetti, some gluten-free spaghetti because I need to put something into my body. And I'm watching Married at First Sight, which is just the best. Yeah. All right, this is everything I ate on Monday. Obviously, I only had two, like, symptoms, which for me is not bad. Like, hey, two stomach aches, not that bad. But, like, the intensity of the second one, it was, like, insane. Like, I was, like, almost crying. I was in so much pain. So, obviously, not a very good day. But, you know, sometimes it takes, like, a few days to, like, cleanse a certain food out of your system if you take it out. So, I still, I still had hope. Okay, so I literally filmed nothing today, but I'll show you what I ate, like, end or whatever um but right now i'm doing my homework because i literally just got home from work i like got off the bus went to work and then came home and i'm eating this delicious stir fry my mom made me so good and working on my homework because i had a lot even though it was only the second day of school which is kind of weird but yeah all right, here's everything I ate on Tuesday. As you can see, I had two stomach aches again, but these were very, very mild compared to Monday, so not that bad, but still the goal is to get my stomach aches um, to be, like, almost non-existent, so yeah. Okay, so today for breakfast, I had my usual two pieces of peach jelly, but today we're mixing things up and having an oat milk frappuccino, wonderfully made by my mother. So I have an eye doctor appointment, so I actually got to sleep in today, which was nice. I might have something else to eat, but this might kind of fill me up, so. The powdered frappuccino mix has milk in it. <laughs> so my mom's gonna drink it. I gave it up because I'm gonna hold strong. The only thing I had of dairy was that cupcake, and I intend to keep it that way. So I'm going to figure out what else I'm going to eat because I'm so hungry. Okay, so I ended up just making a little container of strawberries I'm going to eat in the car. Um, I'm very disappointed that I couldn't have that frappuccino. I was really excited for that, but at least I got extra sleep. So I don't, like, super need the caffeine, you know? So I'll be fine, but I got my strawberries, so... Here is everything I ate on Wednesday. Obviously, I vlogged some of it, and as you can see, there's only one symptom, but I actually wrote a lot because it was a pretty bad one. It was, like, a stomach ache that, like, started, it like, literally after lunch and lasted the whole entire day long. Like, that is so annoying and so inconvenient. I don't want stomach aches that start after lunch and last the whole entire day long. Like, nobody does. And then Thursday, because, you know, I just didn't film anything on that day. Um, as you can see, we have four different symptoms all of them were like very mild I mean some of them were like worse than others but they were all they were all pretty mild they weren't that bad but like still four like stomach ache symptoms like that's not good that's like we're going the opposite direction now y'all I just had my first day this whole week with no symptoms at all and I know that I'm totally jinxing it and that's gonna be bad but like that's a big deal like, this whole week I've been having one to four symptoms slash stomach aches every single day. Like, that's, I mean, that's pretty much my normal, but that's still not good. Like, we don't want that. Especially when I'm eating, like, nothing. But today, I don't have any symptoms or stomach aches all day long. And that's, like, insane. So, either it's that I ate foods that just, like, generally didn't upset my stomach. Or it took a few days for, like, the dairy to kind of flush out of my system. Which would make sense. I ate a lot of dairy. It would take a few days to, like get it all out of my system if that is the thing that's upsetting my stomach so I think I'm gonna keep doing the dairy free for like like at least finish out this week and maybe even do it another week just to see how it is and keep tracking my symptoms I don't think I'll like vlog the second week I'll probably just vlog this week but like a whole day without symptoms that's like a big deal all right as I already said Friday I did not have any symptoms this is what I ate so like literally not much different from what I normally eat. honestly I thought it would be worse on Friday if anything because we had a football game so like I was having candy we were jumping around and stuff which usually can kind of upset my stomach but it was really good and I was very happy but then Saturday rolled around and I was feeling so good I was like this is working there's finally something that's working and then my body was like no you really thought I started the day off strong with a stomach ache right after waking up I hadn't even eaten anything and my stomach just hurt and then later I got like kind of a kind of bad stomach ache but it went away 
and then later I got another stomach ache, and then later I got another stomach ache that just got worse and worse and worse, literally lasted the rest of the day, and woke me up in the middle of the night. I've never been woken up in the middle of the night by a stomach ache before, but you know what? Apparently, there's a first time for everything, and that happened on Saturday, and I was just so mad because I, like, actually had hope, and then it was just, like, taken away so quickly. So, yeah, I was very frustrated, and now here's a little passive-aggressive video I made the next day. Hello, everyone. It's currently Sunday, which means it's been a week since we started this gluten-free, dairy-free diet. And from what I've found, I've concluded that my stomach problems are just unfixable and no diet will make me feel better. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, Okay, I was planning on ending the video there, but it's been like two weeks and I just don't feel like it because I feel like it's kind of a depressing way to end like a YouTube video and I try not to be depressing in any of my videos. So, um, yeah, I mean, my stomach's not great, but like it's been getting kind of better. I don't really know. If I'm not like actively logging and saying I had a stomach ache here, like I literally don't remember. I was like, how is your stomach today? I'm like, I don't really know. I try not to pay attention to it. That sounds so bad, but it's the truth. Like if I like spend too much energy thinking about how many stomach aches I have, it just upsets me. It just makes me sad, you know? Like if I'm having all these stomach aches and I'm focusing so much of my time and energy on them, like I'm not going to be happy. Like I'm just going to be stressing out over it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I feel like it's been maybe getting better. I have no idea. I guess today's not very, like, a good day to tell because my stomach's been hurting, like, all day. But, um, yeah, we're thinking either I have a corn allergy, which might be why my stomach was a mess today because I ate popcorn and, like, other stuff. Um, which would be kind of inconvenient because most gluten-free foods are made with corn. Uh, so we'll just see how that goes. Um, but we also think that it just might be, like, my gut is, like, messed up. So, obviously, I'm doing all the, like, cleanse and stuff. Like, my shake that I have to drink every night. Ugh, I hate that thing. Um, and all my, like, like enzymes and stuff that I'm supposed to take but I don't actually take. Um, my mom's kind of mad at me for that. But, like, I don't remember, you know? And I don't feel like they're helping. So, I'm a lot less motivated to actually take them if I don't feel like they're helping me. But, yeah, I don't really know what's happening there, but, you know, school started now, so I'm a lot, like, less, I don't know, anxious, I guess, because, I don't know, I have something to do now, and I'm not just focusing on my stomach, so I don't really know where I was going with that. What was I even going to say next? Um, yeah, we have some ideas, we have some theories, and it might take, like, a long time to either A, reset my gut, or B, figure out what I'm allergic or intolerant to, or both, you know, could be a good mix of both. There's a lot of food sensitivities that run on both sides of my family, so it might just be a trial and error type of thing, because honestly, a lot of, like, allergy and intolerance tests will come up with, like, totally different results. Like, you honestly don't, we don't, we're not really sure if we should, like, spend a bunch of money to get a test and not even know if it's, like, accurate. So we're just going to probably keep trying some experiments and yeah. So this one was unsuccessful, but that doesn't mean that all the rest of them will be unsuccessful because I am a glass half full kind of gal. So we're going to keep doing experiments and we're going to fix my stomach even if it takes 15 years, okay? I'm going to be in like a married girl who has a job and my stomach is still gonna be hurting four times a day but it's gonna be fine we're gonna figure it out eventually um yeah that's the end of this video you don't need to listen to me talk for any any longer so if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload as always i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>